RFK Jr. and others have previously hinted, sometimes not so much of a hint, sometimes rather overtly, at a link between the hepatitis B vaccination, the newborn dose, and autism spectrum disorder or other medical conditions like autoimmune disease, allergies. In your group's review of the published safety data, what were your findings on autism or other diagnoses, I guess under an umbrella that may take longer to show up, the things that don't happen immediately? You know, I can say with absolute certainty it was zero signal of any of these issues. Uh, you know, uh, well, a low-grade fever, uh, some redness at the site of injection, you know, these are the most severe things we've seen. Uh, otherwise, this has been a remarkably, remarkably safe vaccine. And, you know, we now have had enough time to follow it so that we're not talking about six months or 12 months. But we're talking about the effectiveness of the vaccine in the 30 and 40 years. And we're talking about the side effects. And so, you know, we're not, we can even say with confidence there's not a late sequelae kind of picture that might occur 20 or 30 years later. So, again, that's what makes this uh, argument for vaccinating at birth so compelling, is that you're doing no harm and you're doing a great deal of good for your child. And uh, that's what we need parents to understand. And let me just come back again to one last point, is if the uh, ACIP this week votes to rescind this recommendation, you know, the Vaccine for Children's Program and so forth are, are not going to basically kick in. Then we have guaranteed, we've guaranteed a number of these mothers that they will transmit to their child because they won't be in a position of saying, yeah, okay, I'll pay for that vaccine. Right. Effectively, and I don't know whose head this falls on at that point, giving children, some children statistically, liver cancer, cirrhosis, death from those conditions. Anyone who's had liver cirrhosis will tell you oh. that it is a horrible, horrible disease. And, uh, you know, a liver transplant today is $320,000. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing we're talking about if you have any hope of, of you know, basically turning the course. Primary hepatocellular carcinoma, ca liver cancer, uh, is one of the hardest, most difficult cancers to deal with and treat. And so, again, from that perspective, you know, this is not a stitch in time saves nine. This is a stitch in time saves a million. 